My house is a total disaster right now. And if you are in the same boat and looking for the cleaning motivation that you need for a whole home reset, you came to the right video. Make sure you are subscribed and hit the thumbs up button while watching, but let's get to cleaning. <laughs> We had friends over the night before and sleepovers this weekend, so everything was sort of left in shambles, so get ready to clean up this mess with me. But if you're new here, hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm a married mama to one boy and a dog mom to two, and I love making cleaning, decorating, and homemaking videos, and our schedule has just been bonkers lately with basketball three days a week, MMA twice a week, after school activities, and Jaden's also learning a new instrument for the school band this year so there's also music lessons and I also work a full-time job on top of it all so it's just lots of late nights and in the car mom life right now and since the days have been so busy I've just been finding it really hard right now to keep up with the laundry and the cleaning and keeping things tidy but one thing that I do know for sure if the home is disorganized and chaotic, then I mentally feel disorganized and chaotic too. And that can cause me to feel depression and anxious. So if you're in the same boat, get up and clean with me today. Even if it's just one space in your home, like your kitchen or your family room or your bedroom, I promise you, you will feel a million times better. Because if you didn't know, cleaning and organizing and decluttering are all amazing mood boosters and that they help cause your brain to release dopamine, which promotes a sense of calm and happiness and feeling relaxed and can even help you sleep better at night. So if you're feeling sad and stressed, getting up and cleaning can really help in the long run. So I hope that this video helps you today, gives you a little cleaning routine for when you need to reset your home and hopefully you can have an even better week ahead. I've definitely realized that being a busy working mom, it is so hard to balance it all. My home definitely gets messy, but I always feel so much better when I take just a few hours to reset my home and get back on track for the week ahead. So we're starting with tidying up the family room and the kitchen because these are the most lived in areas of our home. When I have these cleaned up and in order, I just feel so much better. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering What it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything To be in your arms again So give me a sign sign oh give me a sign baby give me a sign just give me one more talking to you talking to here we go again staying up all night to see if you've been texting me where do we go from here i want to go all in so give me a sign Next in this reset routine is to do the dishes, 
pretty much every day I have dishes that need to be put away or that need to be washed, usually both. So if you're not already up and cleaning with me, let's get up and get that daily dose of dopamine going. <laughs> let's get up and do your dishes with me today. Let's go. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Mm -mm. So give me a sign. So we had kind of a pre-Halloween party this weekend, which is why you see the spider popcorn bowl and Halloween snacks. It was so much fun. We played some like Halloween games and I made this really cute monster themed drink for the kids and added a splash of vodka for the adults. But we're also hosting a costume party for Jaden's friends this year. So make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on all the Halloween recipes, games, and DIY Halloween decor ideas I have for you. I have some super cute pottery barn dupes I want to make and just so much more exciting things coming up on this channel. So you definitely don't want to miss out. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. Next in this reset cleaning routine, we are cleaning the sink. So give yours a good scrub along with me. When you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another. Guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer. Our love was out of control. I've been going love wiping down the countertops. <laughs> it's probably my favorite cleaning chore. What is your favorite cleaning chore? Let me know down in the comments while you're watching today, but I love using multi-surface cleaners with great scents, which I'm using the Acorn Spice from Mrs. Myers, which this is a new one for me this year, but it seriously has such a cozy, warm scent to it. I just love the scent. It actually makes me want to clean. Just makes it so much more enjoyable when you've got a wonderful scent to clean with. So what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you I'm so alone And when I do this reset day, I always check the fridge and the pantry to see if anything needs to be cleaned out and if there's anything I need to restock for the week ahead. And to make it simpler on myself so I don't have to run to the store, I always place a grocery delivery order. This is such a great option for me and has really taken that stress away, especially on busier weeks when I just don't have the time. Next, I wanted to reorganize my junk drawer. Even though it feels silly to even have one, I have realized how important an organized junk drawer is. Like if I quickly need to find a pen or I need a post-it note or if I have an important paper and I need a magnet, it makes chaotic days run so much more smoother when I can easily find those things. And then the second drawer in my kitchen holds all of our important papers like Jaden's schoolwork and projects he's working on. So I need to give this a good declutter, toss out anything we don't need anymore so that we can easily find what's important. And it honestly, it seriously feels so good to have these two spaces tidy and organized for the week ahead. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you.
And by this point, the dishwasher was finished, so I wanted to unload and put away all the dishes so that I'll have an empty dishwasher for the week ahead. Moving into my bedroom now, I love starting the week off sleeping in fresh sheets. So we're going to change the sheets and make the bed. So let's go. Clean with me today, change your sheets so you can fall asleep tonight on those freshly washed sheets. And I'm telling you, spraying on some room freshener, you'll feel amazing falling into bed tonight. And extra sports and activities means <laughs> extra laundry. I do try to do one load a day, but there are some days where I just don't get to it and it gets a little backed up. But that's why these reset days are so important. So that I can get caught back up and start the week off with a clean slate. So if you have laundry just hanging out in your dryer too, let's take it out and we can get it folded together. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me but by this point, the groceries were delivered, so I'm bringing them in and putting everything away so that the fridge and pantry were restocked for the week ahead. It just makes it so easy when it comes to making lunches every morning and just knowing that we have everything we need as far as breakfast, lunches, and snacks for during our busy sports days. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Next part of this whole home reset is to clean up the bathrooms. So I'm putting in a fresh towel, putting in some spare toilet paper, wiping down the mirrors, using my OxyClean bathroom cleaner to clean the sink, wiping down the cabinets, mopping, and disinfecting the trash can and toilet. I also wanted to declutter and reorganize under our sink. So just wait, it was a total disaster. <laughs>
And now that the bathroom is clean, it's time to tackle the bathroom cabinet. It was a total disaster, but I knew I needed to get this more organized to make getting ready in the morning faster, less stressful, and to have a better week ahead. So I'm pulling every item out, going through them one by one, and tossing anything that I don't need anymore. I had empty packaging, there were tons of skincare products, unused eyeshadow palettes, and practically every shade of nail polish because apparently I'm a nail polish hoarder. But once everything is decluttered, I'm going to give the inside of the cabinet a good wipe down using my Mrs. Meyer multi-surface cleaner and then we'll put everything back nice, tidy, and organized. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Emotions keep coming, they're keeping me from thinking straight. Thought it would be different. I got my things in place Stuck in this commotion How come I ain't past this yet? I wanna me that be somebody else Another me that doesn't need your help But if I'm honest I don't think we got it and so now that everything is decluttered, I wanted to get everything organized into these clear sliding bins I got from Amazon. I used them in my decluttering series to organize my kiddos bathroom and I love them so much. It made it so easy to organize everything that I got some for our bathroom too. But I just love the pull out drawers and that it's see through so you can see exactly what's in there. And I feel like these would be so helpful in organizing other things too, like accessories or your medicine cabinet Cabinet, but I'll definitely leave the link to them in the description box for you. Whatever way you want me, I'll learn it all and I'll adapt. Even if I changed up everything except my name, we will still be Friday. And now next, I'm just switching over my laundry and usually I'll do my load of white towels last just because I don't mind if they end up hanging out in the dryer. But this way, all of our clothes will be put away and clean for the week ahead. And seriously, there is no better feeling than having an empty laundry basket. Make this right, but we're the same, even though I changed. Really made an effort, promise I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great. Next in this home reset, I'm going into the kiddos room and it was a little on the messier side since he had friends staying over this weekend. And this is something that he usually keeps tidy himself, but he stayed the night at his other friend's house last night. So I thought I'd have it tidied for him when he gets back. So I needed to deflate and put away this air mattress, tidy up the floor, change the sheets, and give the floor a good vacuum so that he can have a clean and tidy room to start off his week. Touch of who I am when you're far away. And I feel like I'm running in circles around you. Mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while. But I want you close. Close. Ooh, ooh, 
So at this point in the day, we had dinner. I put the kiddo to bed since we have to wake up at 5 a.m. now to get him to school the next day. But if you want to see what our morning routine looks like, I just did a day in the life where I show what a typical day looks like. So be sure to go check that out. But our last bit of clothes were done drying. So I'm just getting them folded and put away before I work on editing some videos and went to bed myself. But this is what an entire home reset looks like for our family right now. Lots of laundry lots of cleaning, lots of prep to make sure the day runs smoothly. So I hope that this video helps you get some cleaning motivation today and also gives you an idea of a cleaning routine you can have once a week that just really helps your house run smoothly for the entire week. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and I will see you all in my next video. Bye loves.